Hybrid mattresses give you the ability to get the best of all worlds. And today I'm gonna to be talking about six of my favorite hybrid mattresses, telling you everything you need to know about the mattresses and who they're a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea which one you're gonna to wanna to get, so stay tuned. All right, if you want to learn more about these mattresses or you want a personal recommendation via our mattress quiz, definitely check that out at mattressclarity.com. All right, so what is a hybrid mattress? It's basically steel support coils with a premium foam on top, so something like memory foam or latex that gives you the ability to get the best of both worlds of those different materials. All right, so we have different types of hybrid mattresses here of all different types of materials and feels, so I think you're really going to like one of the mattresses here. So having said that, let's jump into some topics. First up on our list is the Casper Hybrid Mattress. I really like the original Casper, and this is basically the same, but just with coils in the sport layer instead of uh, foam. So it has a nice balanced foam feel overall. It's about a six out of 10. I really like it for side sleepers. Has very, very good pressure relief. Has something called zone construction. So in the middle, it's gonna be a little bit firmer. So if you're on your back or stomach, it's gonna be a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. When you're on your side, it's gonna be a little bit more pressure relieving. So it's very good for really all three sleeping positions, but it's about a six out of 10. There's really a lot to like about this mattress. Next up on our list is the Ghostbed Flex Mattress. It is a memory foam hybrid mattress. So if you want all the advantages of memory foam without the drawbacks, I would go with the Ghostbed Flex Mattress here. It's about a six and a half out of 10, so right in that medium firmness range. I really like it for back and side sleepers because of that memory foam on top, it's very good in pressure relieving for side sleepers. Yet because of the coils, it's very uh, supportive and comfortable overall for back sleepers as well. Um, it sleeps cool and it's also a very good option for couples. It isolates the motion very well. So there really is a lot to like about this mattress as well. Next up on the list is the Bear Hybrid Mattress. They've got steel support coils, but then a memory foam-like top layer. It is memory foam-like. It actually is supposed to relieve pressure better than memory foam does, and I think that might actually be the case. It's also more responsive. It's not gonna trap heat. So there's really a lot to like about the top layer there. I find it to be a very pressure relieving, very good on my side. Um, so very nice and soft and pressure relieving on my side, yet very comfortable and supportive on my back. So very good for side and back sleepers. I also put it about a six and a half out of 10. So it's really gonna be a good fit for a lot of different sleepers. Next up on our list is the Brooklyn Bedding Bloom Hybrid Mattress. I really wanted to include an all-natural latex hybrid mattress here, and that's exactly what you get here. You've got all-natural latex on top, so if you're worried about kind of chemicals in your mattress, it could be a very good option for you. It's about the same firmness as a lot of the other mattresses on this list. It's about a six and a half out of 10. It's also very good for side and back sleepers. It's gonna be very bouncy, much bouncier than many of the other mattresses on this list. Again, so it's good for back and side sleepers, which is great, and if you want an all-natural latex hybrid mattress, definitely take a look at this one. Next up on our list is the Tuft & Needle hybrid mattress. This uses their adaptive foam that's in their original mattress, mixes in kind of memory foam and latex-like qualities. Um, it's not going to sleep hot whatsoever. And then you got uh, micro coils and then steel coils. So if you want two sets of coils, that's definitely what you get here. It gives you additional kind of body contouring overall. Um, it's also very good for back and side sleeping. I found it very good for, for side sleeping. It's about a six out of 10. So there really is a lot to like about this mattress too. Last one on the list is the Purple Hybrid Premier 4-inch version. I really like this mattress for heavier sleepers, especially heavier side sleepers. You get a very, very pressure relieving four inches of this gel material that collapses and just feels very, very nice on your side. Also has steel support coils. It's very, very breathable, very, very durable, maybe the most durable on this list. So There's a ton to like about this mattress. Hey guys, Martin here to offer different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 250. I'm a larger person than Joe, and he made this list of the best hybrid mattresses. Now, hybrid mattresses are a great option for heavier people because you get the support of coils and the comfort of some type of foam or latex above that. But out of these six, I think four are a very good match for heavier people like myself. So first off, we have the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Now, the Casper Hybrid is really great because of its zone construction, and basically that means it's firm towards the center of the mattress and softer towards the top and the bottom of the mattress. This makes it a good match for all three sleeping positions, even for someone of my size. Because of those supportive coils, I'm definitely getting the support I need when I'm on my back and my stomach and some extra lumbar support from that zone construction. When I'm on my side, some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Then we have the Bloom Hybrid, which I really like for back sleeping because it has a perfect balance of comfort and support. Again, the support of the coils beneath that, a nice comfort layer that allows my hips to sink in, some good contouring as well. So a very good match for back sleeping. 
Then we have the Tuft Needle Hybrid. Now, the Tuft Needle Hybrid has a very thick comfort layer, so when I'm on my side, I'm feeling some really good pressure relief on my shoulders or my hips, but also moving to my back, I'm getting a good overall support, some nice contouring, and my hips sink in just the right amount. Then we have, finally, the Purple Hybrid Premier 4-inch version. Now, this is good for all three sleeping positions, but I specifically love it for side sleeping because as a larger side sleeper, usually I press through mattresses, feel some firmness on my shoulders and my hips when I kind of bottom out on those mattresses. This does not happen on the Purple Hybrid Premier 4-inch because I sink into that top gel grid. I don't feel any pressure on my shoulders and my hips. I feel nice and cocooned and held up, almost weightless, a very good match for heavier side sleepers like myself. All right, before we close out this video, I wanted to go over some frequently asked questions about hybrid mattresses. Are hybrid mattresses any good? Well, they're definitely more breathable, more durable, more supportive than if you had just kind of foam and sport layer. So that's definitely um, something to note. They're definitely good overall. They could also give you the best of both worlds. So if you have memory foam, you can get all the advantages of memory foam without some of the drawbacks. So they definitely are good mattresses. So are hybrid mattresses better than memory foam? Well, it definitely comes down to personal preference. I personally think that they are, they're, they're more supportive overall. I think if you really wanna sink into your mattress, then just go with a pure memory foam mattress. But it really just depends on the kind of feel that you're trying to get. I think that they don't trap heat as much, so that's very good. Um, and I think they're a little bit more durable as well. So I personally think that they are better. So what is the best hybrid mattress for side sleepers? I'd probably take a look at the Casper Hybrid. That's a little bit softer underneath your shoulders because of that zone construction. It's about a six out of 10 as well, a little bit softer than average. Also the Tuft and Needle Hybrid is very good as well. Definitely did well on our pressure map testing, so it leaves pressure very well. About a six out of 10, a little bit softer than average as well. So I'd take a look at those two mattresses. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of these mattresses. If you're interested in any of these particular mattresses, definitely check out the individual reviews we've done on both our website and our YouTube channel. And if you're just getting started with your mattress buying journey, definitely check out our website and consider subscribing to our channel as well. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.